Hey everybody, last week at Caraway we had a rain out, so we don't have any race recap or any footage from the racetrack to show you. We were getting a lot of fans that were asking, you know, what kind of stuff do we use in our toolbox, what kind of stuff does it take to, to get the job done, getting a lot of uh, response on it, so what we're going to do is we're going to show you. I guess what we can do is start over here. This is the actual toolbox. This is where all the tools and everything go. I don't know why we'd ever use this, but this is a six, excuse me, a 530 seconds wrench. And now why this is in here and why we would even need to use this on the race car, I'm not really sure, but we got it in case we need it. including uh, 8 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter. Uh, there's a couple specialty on the alternator. Alternator nut takes a 10 millimeter and um, the starter nut takes a 12 millimeter. Other than that, all of our bolts and nuts on a race car are standard. This is our miscellaneous drawer. This drawer is pretty much a, if you're looking for something, you don't know where to find it, come in this drawer. You got a calculator, a pair of scissors, always got to have your handy dandy trusty NASCAR tour rule book. Um, got a spark plug holder. This is our gear chart. If we're running uh, a rear end, it's a quick change rear end where you change the gears in the back of the rear end. This gives you a, a breakdown of what gear you may need for what ratio and what gear set number it is so you can go to that gear set and find the gear set. So that's always good, good to have. You can see these little pair of cutters here stay stole from Monk. I think David at uh, Roush Yates gave these to Monk and he put stole from Monk on them. And uh, the ironic thing about this is these got missing for about a year. And what happened is, is we let the tech officials at the North South Shootout last year bar these. And then the next race we went to, uh, they were using these pliers. So uh, <laughs> even though they got stole from Monk wrote on them, the NASCAR officials ended up with them and we got them back. Um, these are our wire pliers. I can remember being a kid and playing with a, with a pair of wire pliers. Whenever you put a, wrap a piece of safety wire around something, you can lock it in and you pull it and what it'll do is it'll twist it for you to lock it in. Like if you want to wire your um, grease plug in your rear end or your radiator cap or something. But I don't know why these always fascinated me as a kid. Um, I can remember playing with them years ago. Adjustable wrench. Um, everybody uses this except Monk. Basically, because it's as big as he is and he can't pick it up. So we got one in here for Monk. Um, these are line wrenches here. Uh, basically, uh, CJ Jones at Jones Racing Products sent me a set of these line wrenches, which I love. It's got an offset on one end. It goes from a 20 all the way down to a number six. This is our hub nut socket. To take your uh, nut off of the hub, to get the hub off, it takes this special socket. It always ends up in this drawer. Um, this is kind of a little miscellaneous box here. Uh, to take your axle out, you can screw that into the end of the axle, into the threads, and pull your axle out. Uh, kind of saves you a little bit of work. Uh, David down at Roush Yates uh, made us a little tool here. What we'll use this for is to spin the oil pressure up. Um, you wrap your oil pressure belt around this pulley and around your oil pump, and we'll spin the oil up to get all the oil in the right places in the motor before we crank it up. Just to make sure everything's lubed up good before you, you know, before you crank it that first time. This right here is my favorite tool they always pick on me. This used to be a handle. Uh, it was a handle to an on-off switch of some kind. And I switched the ends on it, and I put this on this end. It works great for a Zeus tool. And uh, you can't have a modified without having a Zeus in it. So what we'll do is I'll use that for a Zeus tool. Helps you get a good grip on it. You don't slip with a screwdriver and scratch your front end like some people have been known to do. Um, if we need to put a spring rubber in somewhere uh, in a spring, what that does is if you got a spring, let's say you got a spring that's a 200 rated, 200 pounds rated spring, 
you put this spring rubber in there and it might make it a 225. It's for a quick adjustment, that way you don't have to change the spring, you just slide a rubber in to make that quick adjustment. Got JB Weld, you can't go anywhere without your JB Weld. Um, this is our uh, chargers for our uh, electric guns, which I'll show you here shortly. Um, same deal in racing. I mean, you, it used to be years ago, you either had it uh, on your compressor with an air hose and you used it, but it, to the point now that if you've got an electric one, it just makes it a lot easier on you. And this is where we keep our spare batteries up here, keep a flashlight. There was a roll of duct tape up here now. I uh, can't find it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> um, this is our little cross. A kid actually gave me this. Uh, Stephen, I might let you zoom in on this. Instead of me reading it out loud, zoom in on this and let people read this. But uh, it's a pretty nice reminder. I've got one in my pocket already, or that one would be in my pocket. But a kid gave me that and, uh, and as a token, to, you know, because he knew I was a Christian, I guess, and he thought it'd be cool to give it to me. But um, I put it up right there so other people could benefit from it. Um, it's a little oversized, but you want to make sure you got everything you need. But, uh, oh man, I wouldn't be doing it justice if I didn't show them the uh, wheel covers that Danny had made for us. Um, Danny Culler had these uh, laser cut, a buddy of his laser cut those with the aces of spades in them um, for, my, for my ace of spades that I always run. But uh, like I said, all in all, this is it. This is the toolbox. This is what we run out of. This is our life support system at the racetrack. But uh, now you know what goes on in uh, Burt Myers' toolbox. With the 2011 racing season winding down, I want to let you know that we're always looking for sponsors, big or small, by race, or for the entire season. If you're looking for some great advertisement and some super exposure, not only at the track, but on Facebook with these videos, on our website, please don't hesitate to contact us on this page. Thank you and God bless you. Listen, everybody, I've gotten some good response from the kids on my video from last week. I say trivia. Sorry. My trivia video. Listen, everybody, on my trivia from last week, we're getting some... <laughs> Darn it! How did you... Some response. We're getting some response. Some response. Listen, everybody, as far as my trivia is concerned from last week, we're getting some response from some... From some... I went through 40 minutes of a toolbox and can't do five seconds of this. <laughs> All right, start over.